Two days left, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. And, uh, oh boy. Rise and shine, Sunny. Everything is good with you, right? Right? I don't hear any knocking. Oh yes, the new message. You haven't been answering my calls, responding to my voicemails, yada yada yada. You end up visiting Kel. If not, it's all right. I understand. Just take things at your own pace. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. There's no shot that. There's no shot that Kel is still uh knocking on the door, right? Even after all this time. Hey, look, it's me. All right, time to brush my teeth because I unfortunately forgot about that. <laughs> There we go. Our breath is now minty fresh. Today your chore is to wash the dishes. Oh, I don't want to wash the dishes. That sucks. I don't know why, but every time I wash the dishes, I always somehow may end up making my shirt wet. I'm just like, why? I'm not even washing that hard. And now he doesn't even want to go outside anymore. Kel Kel's just like, well, Sunny's not going to come outside now. Fuck. Oh, fucking dirty dishes. Fine then. If that's the only thing I could do here, then I'll do it. There's literally nothing else for me to do over here. Not gonna lie, Sunny. Your life as a Hikomori, kind of boring. Hella boring, if I do say so myself. A lot of dishes, Jesus. Yes, I'll wash the dishes. Oh my god! How many dishes you have? Why do you need to wash chopsticks? What the hell? Alright, I have two more things. I don't know why, but chopsticks kept going down lower and lower and lower. On on the goddamn select screen. Why, do I, why the fuck do I need to clean chopsticks? In what world do you clean chopsticks? There's stinks! You throw them away! The tips of your fingers look like prunes. Ah, yes. The dishes are all clean. You should clean yourself too. Maybe it's time for a bath. The dishes are squeaky clean. God damn, Sonny! Is it already fucking afternoon? <laughs> look at that! How is it already afternoon? My god. How long did it take you to clean these? Either you woke up super late or it took you forever to clean it. Okay. That's um interesting, interesting. Nothing out of the ordinary over here. Nothing out of the ordinary over here. And no, I'm not gonna be playing any blackjack. Nothing out of the ordinary over here. God, you guys don't even have a shower? Come on now. In what world would you not want to shower? Like, I get, I get the appeal of taking a bath. Like, okay, first of all, I should not be watching a teenager doing this. And second of all, I understand the appeal of taking a bath. But a shower is just universally better. Okay... I don't know what you fucking did here, Sonny, but... Uh, this does not look poggers. Gotta love this fucking image over here, don't you? Wait a minute, I just realized something. I just realized something. Yeah! Hero was supposed to save us in this instance. Because we were drowning trying to save Basil. Who the fuck saved us now? Ooh! <laughs> Can we just save ourselves? Oh, we do. Would oh, you look at that? 
What the? Bro, what the hell was that? That was not something. I just, I, I just accidentally like mashed A. I need to stop doing that. Alright buddy, you see this? You see this? This is a closet! Why isn't it why isn't it here? Did you guys wall up the goddamn closet? What was that? What was that noise? I heard something break. Where did it come from? I heard something break! Where was it? Uh Bro, I swear I heard something break. What the fuck? I just don't know where it is all of a sudden. Well, that was a little freaky. Uh, might as well go to bed. Yeah, there's no Cal or no hero to keep me company. All right, we're back here. Can't go back to white space as usual. Single bean on a plate. I don't remember this plate being here, but I could just be stupid. Not gonna lie. All right, as we'll go out. Actually, wait a minute. I feel like I'm just being stupid. I genuinely just feel like I'm being stupid. I feel like there's some things in this neighbor's room that I cannot remember, but I could just be stupid. What am I doing? Just go down. Ah, uh, yes. Everyone decided to go work for Mr. Jossum. Even the mailbox! Holy shit, I just remembered something. I uh forgot to check if if I water basil's plants or not. God damn it. Alright, I'm here at the pier. L Hey Amori! There you are! Where you been, buddy? Oh while you're gone, everyone got tricked into signing contracts. So we all have jobs now. <laughs> oh, we're growing up so fast. My job is to point people to the last resort. That's where I work. It's kind of sort of close by. Okay, or maybe it isn't. Uh, come on, I'll show you. It's just across the water. Uh, what happened? Whatever happened to Mari? <laughs> whatever happened to Mari? Why is it Kel now? No offense, Kel, but don't be scared of Mari. I'm here for you. All right. No longer afraid of drowning. Can I swim faster if I press X? No, I can't. Is it just is this just the exact same thing as last time? Where no matter how far I go left or right, there's just nothing. Whoa. Uh... That's, uh... That's not what I was expecting. A big seashell. We hold up a seashell to your ear, you can hear the ocean. I don't need to hear the ocean. The ocean's right here. <laughs> what the hell? I'm I'm are just like that. I'm already here. That's uh, a lot quicker than I thought. So I guess it's a little further than I thought. Sorry about that, buddy. No worries. I just realized how the fuck can we talk underwater? I mean, I guess this is all a dream and whatnot, but still. Waiting for something to happen. 
No, I'm not waiting for something to happen. I think it was at this point in time where I was like, wait a minute, I think I cracked out the code. Welcome to Black Space. It just kind of sucks that I'm going to have to pick up that I need to know what happens if I pick up all the keys. All right, quick question, my good man. Did you think you'd be able to sneak by this carpool lane if there were two of you kids? This isn't just a carpool lane. It's a double carpool lane. You gotta be a posse of four or more. Otherwise, you can just crawl the way you came back. Bro, I just... Oh, my... My brother in Christ. I just need to go past here. I need to visit Pluto. Oh, you fucker. What, do you not want my fucking money? Ah, oh, yes. I'm very upset. Incredibly upset. That I was never able to figure out how to work this shit out. But... Through the power of trial and error, mostly, uh, I figured out how to finally talk with these guys. I just need to stand right in front of them. And by right in front of them, I mean right in fucking front of them. My goodness, what an impeccable timing. I seem to have found myself in quite the predicament. I've sent letters to a number of acquaintances asking them to attend the elegant feast of mine. But as of the moment, not a single MIT has made an appearance. Not one. This is preposterous. A lesser ghost would be enraged, but my finer senses tell me that they may have simply become lost on the way here. You see, when I sent out my invitations, I had forgotten to include directions to the venue. Being a true gentleman and host, I refuse to start this party until all my guests have arrived. Would you be so kind as to help my guests find their way here? Of course, of course. Thank you, good sir. Here are some maps with directions to my, to my party stamped with my own personal top hat seal of approval. Six spooky maps, alright then. Please deliver these maps to each of my guests. They will then find their way here on their own, surely. Alright, I'll be the judge of that. Spooky map, spooky map, spooky map. And this doesn't tell me at all where it is. I have seen a shit ton of ghosts nearby, but... God, I'm going to have to look through everywhere again. But unlike the faces, I actually remember where quite a number of ghosts were. Four keys left. Jesus Christ, <laughs> I just... I was trying to get rid of... Not get rid of... I was trying to get away from these gator guys because I want to find a fucking clam coin. And all of a sudden, Kel's bitch ass over here is like... I'm worried this might ha this might be a really bad timing, but I need to use the restroom. <laughs> My guy, there's water everywhere. All right, what if I do this? Shit, not that. Oh shit! Happy Gator guy, that's what I like to see, baby. That's why I bought a shit ton of sparklers. Don't worry, when I get this clam coin, sometime I'm gonna farm you guys for coins up the wazoo. Cause I still need to pay out Coco all that fucking dinero. Yeah, you see, this bitch is still whining. All right, what happens if I pick up the N key? I have the N key. I have the O key. X key. How does Hangman look like now? What the hell is that? Is that supposed to be an arm? Like some weird wonky looking arm there. Fine, kill. You can use the fucking bathroom. Ah, much better. Bro! <laughs> Bro, wash your goddamn hands! Is that better? There we go. Ah, oh, yes, the gator guy's just looking at himself. God damn it, I forgot how many keys are actually were here in the fucking deep well. There's so many keys! I actually don't remember this. Uh, I could be wrong again. Who knows? At the time of me recording it, I still haven't recorded this episode yet, but... Okay. That was uh, a little weird. Hello? This is Cal! Where is my room service? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, that's my mistake. So sorry. Goodbye. That is uh, <laughs> that's not what happened last time. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's learned his lesson. Where if I use the other telephone? 
It killed the prank caller. I don't think that's this is a number we should continue calling. All right, Kel, let's try this one. Let's see if you can prank call this one. Oh, it's just a sprout mole. God damn it, Kel! Kel, you're supposed to fuck. <laughs> you're supposed to prank all these people now. Come on! What happened to the energy from last time? Oh, it's nose. Nose goes. On the bright side, though, I did manage to find the. Uh... Oh man, I don't want to get rid of the universal remote, though. But fuck it, I, I did find the clam coin. There we go. Now time to farm these fuckers. All right, so I've been out and about uh, recently, and fortunately for me. I was able to get all six ghosts back to the ghost party. I'm probably gonna do much more work to myself for saying this, but if I remember correctly, the six ghosts that I found was there was one in the pinwheel forest, there's one in the junkyard, one in Sweetheart's Castle, one in Orange Oasis, there was one over here by the last resort. And one by the frozen lake. I believe I don't know if I said the frozen lake just yet, but Yeah, that should that should be each and every single one of them. Alright, buddy, top hat ghost. Huzzah! The feast is saved! Now let the festivities begin! Yes, we have all seven ghosts in the ghost party over here. I am still super upset that I didn't get this on my first playthrough because I was too much of a retard to just stay still in front of them and just trying to talk with them. No, because my bitch ass constantly was just moving around trying to press the A button being like, all right, eventually something has to show up now, but nope. Nothing did. Fortunately though, I was finally able to... Finally able to do this. It is, uh... It is significantly put, lifted a burden off my shoulders. Thank you very much, my good sir. There we go, that's the achievement that I was looking for. And not only that, but I decided to take the liberty of... Just buying a shit ton of these things. Reason why is just that it's more easier for me to own. It's way more easier for me to own the uh, these sep items as separate. These separate items instead of having one person be the dedicated emotion guy. So Amori, he doesn't have a sad poem. Aubrey doesn't have her pep talk. And Kel doesn't have his annoy. It's just more easier for me to have these items in my opinion because I can use the skills for something else like I brought back ricochet even though running gun is still pretty busted and other news hangman is almost complete however I believe we're also about to lose I believe we're missing one more leg those are some noodle ass arms over there what the hell I don't know what happens if I get the last leg. I don't know if something bad is gonna happen. Uh, but whatever it is, I am not prepared for it whatsoever. And you remember this, right? The Call of Inspiration, where Burley says she was looking for a perfect material to create the ultimate weapon. Well, oh my god, I didn't mean to click on you, Mari. Well, from what I looked up, it's just the pool noodle. Th th that's the ultimate weapon. A fucking pool noodle. And if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure I was shit talking that poodle as soon when I, as soon as I got it. There we go. Why do I feel like I got scammed? Yep, I got scammed. I got scammed. All right, Burly. Here's your pool noodle. <gasps> 
That... That right there. That shape. That texture. I... I feel... Inspired. This pool noodle is exactly what I'm looking for. I can definitely make the ultimate weapon with this. There we go. One moment. What the hell is happening there? Feast your eyes on this! The cool noodle. <laughs> yes! Behold the cool noodle and all of its majesty! The cool noodle's powers is not something to be trifled with. Only the most hard-headed can wield it. And although it is insanely strong, it is still very beautiful. The craftsmanship is what really makes it stand out. Yup, I've really outdone myself this time. You can thank me later. <laughs> Alright, let's see this cool noodle in action. It's pool noodle, but cooler. It literally just has fucking googly eyes. I mean, I guess, like, it's just Chan Hart that I'm getting rid of. The only thing that's really gonna fuck over is the, uh, last resort that I have. Get it? Last resort? I'll just go with this. As much as I enjoy the body pillow, and its heart rate, not in what it is, I do value the attack somewhat. And considering that... No, not a Murray. Considering that I also decided to swap out pep talk with beatdown, I'm not going to have to rely on last resort that much. Not only that, but Kel is also pretty much my damage dealer at this point in time with running gun, so I have nothing to complain about there. Okay, not gonna lie, I did an oopsie and uh, I may have fucked up a recording. Just a recording of a clip, but it was a boss fight, and it was cool and dope. It had some dope-ass music, and for whatever reason, OBS was like, you know what, well, you didn't press on pause. And when I tried to pause, it just played again, and I didn't even realize it. Uh, anyways, we, we got the T. We only need the W for the Welcome to Black Space. Uh, let's see here. It, it was in the faux effects. I was fighting Roboheart! Oh, that was pretty dope! You should have seen how much damage I was doing- I was dealing to her. She- she went down in like two turns! I kid you not! And in other news, it's a dead flower. For, first of all, I didn't realize I could leave Humphrey at any point in time. I thought I was just trapped in there for eternity. But these are dead flowers! No matter how many times I water to them, they're just not gonna get up! That's... That's fucking tough. But there's also this. Completely forgot about her. In the first walkthrough as well. I just completely forgot about her. But there was a joke that I did find sometime when I was going in the deep well. And well, I just never came back to her and to go ask her, I guess. Alright, Weeping Willow. I do, in fact, have something. I have the construction joke. Want to hear a joke about construction? I'm still working on it. Hey, that joke's pretty fun. Yo, let's go. I feel a little bit. It's not just Willow, not Weeping Willow. What the fuck is that? Thanks for cheering me up, travelers. Here's a reward for your valiant efforts. This is an ancient weapon of indescribable power. Only a true hero is able to wield it. Ah, the gods are calling for me. I'm afraid it's time to take my leave. Our time together was short, but it has been a mostly pleasurable experience. Hope we will meet again in another life. So long, travelers. It's been fun. I got the lull sword. Cool, I guess. XD. I kind of don't want. I kind of don't want to replace it with the blender. But it's it is good attack though. It is good attack. But it is the blender. But it's good attack. But it is the blender. Hmm. 
I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't really go to Hero for attack. This attack is the lowest out of every single one of us, right? Let's see, we got 90 on Hero, 114 on Nomori. We have 132 on Aubrey, and... 80 on Kel. Wow, never mind. I guess Kel has the lowest one. But look at speed though! 345! <laughs> that more than makes up for it. But yeah, I don't really use Hero much to attack. I use him more as my my, my defense guy. Hence why I don't want to get rid of the blender! Shit! I don't think I'll see with the blender. Hey, do you remember this guy? This fellow? Rokoko? Legasp, you have returned! Please admire my latest masterpiece. It is already framed in the gallery ahead. Yeah, so, uh, I started paying for his shit. And again, I'm pissed off that I didn't do this last time because I had more than enough fucking clams to, to buy his fucking art. Anyways, this was the first one, the first god, god awful abomination that I saw. But I kid you not, I kid you not! Look at this improvement! I'm not joking! Look at this improvement! Holy shit! However, it is plain that I am still a student. I must shake off this novice energy for my next piece. God, I cannot talk in this European accent when my mouth is fucking dry! I'm not a big fan of this one, but you know what? I, I could still see I could still see the artistic value in it, the expression. This one though. This one! Holy shit! Rokoko is becoming magnificent at his drawings. And this one was 25,000 clamps! Oh my god! The final revelation. I won't lie to you. I struggled with this one. But I think it turned out half decent. My next work will be better. Alright, Rokoko, how much for your next masterpiece? Just so you know, as my skills become more formidable, my commission case will also increase. The next masterpiece will call you 50,000 clans! Le Magnificent! Please return after some more adventuring. Alright, alright, buddy. Uh, just give me one quick moment. All right, Rokoko, what do you have for me in store? Thank you, fellow living beings. Through these few commissions, I feel as if I have made a great leaps in my quest of self-discovery in the process. I am also very rich now. I can do no more for you. I truly feel complete. Patron of the Arts. All right, let's see this final masterpiece. Hey! Not bad. My art has truly ascended with this masterpiece. I have finally captured your true essence. I can do nothing more for you. I mean, it's not as it's not as magnificent as this one. And uh <laughs> it's not as magnificent as this one either. But you know what? The the, the real deal? I, I I can't complain about it. I can't complain about the price though. Fifty thousand clams for me just to see this? Come on now, Rokoko. But yeah, I guess if you captured the true essence, I can't really be mad about that. Anyways, enjoy your clams, dickhead. Because I wasted way too much on you. All right, not gonna lie, I'm very curious as to what happens if I pick up the you. You has been acquired. What does Hangman look like now? Still have not found the G key, by the way. Oh, so what? We're drawing a face now? Alright then, buddy. Hey, what's good, my G? No, not you. What's good, my G? Huzzah! Oh, shit! My boy! My buddy, my pal! Didn't realize you were gonna give this to me. Wow, that's actually really good. Holy shit. Oh, they're all gonna give me shit. Yo! This is just supposed to be a test recording, but this is Pog. Alright, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? Ah, damn life, Jeff. 
Gee willikers! A big rubber band? <laughs> what the fuck? Big rubber band. Big damage to a foe. Who can I actually give the top hat to? Can I give it to you, Aubrey? Top hat, top hat, top hat, top hat. Oh no, I can't. Defense, luck, and heart. Yeah, defense, luck, and heart. That's Bog! Let's fucking go! You know, I've been recording so many clips over here. It just kind of feels... It still feels so weird of me just to record these clips without having, like, any intro or any outro or whatnot. Anyways, Josh, my good man, I require some milk. Thank you for your patronage. Please wait, sir or madam. Before you go, I want to thank you for being a patron of Josh. Please take this sales tag. You won't be getting any discounts here, but I'm sure it'll be useful to you somehow. Sales tag, yes, sir. Also, Hero is going to be the one with the top hat. It's much better than just a cell phone. Now, what's this sales tag? Reduces cost of the first scale used in battle. I mean... I have a lot of juice, so... It's not that useful for me. But this is going to have to be the first long clip that basically feels like a recording to me. Because... I have pretty much gotten everything done. Except for one thing. And that is to get the W key. Everything else I've pretty much done. All I just need to do now is to get the W key, go into black space, and then go into one day left. Because I pretty, like I said before, I pretty much did everything that I could. I got all the achievements that I needed. I'm still upset that I couldn't record Robo Heart. Oh my god. Here we go, the W key. Only W's. Zero keys left. Welcome to Black Space, they say. I didn't realize we were going to be drawing facial features. I still need the Y key, the Z key, and that goddamn G key! <laughs> it's been, what, 36, 37 episodes in and I still have not found the fucking G key? Jesus. Ah, yes. Basil's little chew house. Man, kind of sucks considering I never get to see base on the real world. Yeah, his house has seen better days. It's collapsing as as we are speaking. I don't remember seeing both something and basil there. I could be tripping though. It has been a good week, a good two weeks since I finished the game. Oh no. All right, shockass. I know where you are now. Alright, not gonna lie, Deeper Well over here always gives me the heebie-jeebies. I just need to... Well, I, I was gonna say I just need to get to Basil's house, but then that's just gonna put me in a black space, and black space already gives me enough heebie-jeebies as is. Like, the Deeper Well is one thing, but black space is an entirely different thing. I'm just more curious as to what are the things that are going to be different about it. Because I would assume that there has to be something different about black space. No? Ah oh, yes, that also reminds me. There was something that I could do over here. I'm just going to have to save really quickly. But for whatever reason, I could still go back into white space. And 
Well, white space is obviously still white space. This light bulb is still vigorous as fuck. But the most important thing is this.